my YouTube channel. It is your truly curly devil. <laughs> well, let's just admire my natural hair. So just just like the video if you like natural hair. Oh wait. This is really good. This is really good, Lulu. <laughs> <laughs> so Lulu and I are here because I wanted to make a story time video for you guys and she loves my stories, but I couldn't figure out what exactly to film. So she's gonna help me. She found a random website. She's gonna go through and ask me like, what do you think about this topic? Do you have a story time for this? And then I'm gonna tell you guys a mini story time of like everything that sounds exciting. This website has 15 different topics to choose from. She's gonna read them for me and then if I like any of them, I'm gonna make a short mini story from it. I'm ready. <laughs> okay, so the first one is Talk about a time you lied to a parent. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay, the first one that came to my mind, I was probably like, I would say nine years old. We lived in, in this house, and yeah, everybody, we live in houses over here. <laughs> and we had a cupboard and it had like a metal handle. So like all of them, except this one cupboard, it was like tied around with like rope. Right? Like different little pieces of rope that made a really nice white uniform crisp rope. That was like a temporary fix. And I had scissors. And I wanted to try it out. So I just wanted to cut something. Anything really. Only child, by the way, if you didn't know, now you do. If you're only child, let me know down below. You feel my sentiments. And so I really wanted to use my scissors. I got busy and I cut a blunt, straight cut right in the center of the handle. So when I laid to home, my dad was like, Cash, what happened to the handle in the cabinet? And I was like, oh, I don't know. And then he asked me again, and I said, it busts. And so obviously that's a lie, it's a blunt, and it's a rope. It's a blunt cut, and it's a rope. My dad's form of punishment was definitely the Nauticana. I hated that, I'd rather a spanking and be done. But no, not to count it was, and I had to go and wait in there for my nose to try to touch the wall, and you're just in there for a very long time, it seems like forever. And long story short, he would come like every half an hour and ask me to tell the truth, like, you know, but I was just sticking to the light, I was sticking to it, and it was awful, and he wouldn't let me leave, and that was the first and last time I told a blatant lie to my dad. <laughs> it was just... Dumb, right? Stupid. <laughs> What's another one? <laughs> okay, so the next one is a time that you stole something. God. Okay. Mm. Have you stolen something? I don't think so. Okay, good. Oh my god, I'm scared. I mean, I mean, it's like, no, I did. With you. Oh my god. You know the story. Publicly, but I was stealing them in the fridge, and then Louise came in and she got me. She was like, What are you doing? <laughs> oh, that was so funny. Oh <laughs> because I couldn't talk, my mouth was so full. <laughs> you know how innocent you are when, when someone asks if you've ever stolen something that you literally stole something from your own fridge. <laughs> you've had with a teacher? Okay. I had a couple really. 
Okay, what was like the craziest one? Coronavirus. <laughs> that was my craziest one. Okay. My teacher, right? We did a math test, and for some reason, my teacher didn't bring back my grade. Like, he didn't have my test paper. Very shit. He was an Indian teacher. He's very, very funny guy. And he would say stuff like, go on the Google. Like, he would say the in front of like lots of things, which made it hilarious. So, I was like, where's my test and stuff? My school was going through like precautions because they were thinking about shutting down. This was like a mid month. Things were like getting really crazy with the coronavirus. We had class three times a week. This is math class. And the first time I went to class, I sneezed in class. And, you know, some people said, bless you. And my teacher, he looked up at me. And then he didn't say anything. And then at the end of class, or coming to the end of class, he said, you know, guys, if you're sick, you should stay home. Okay, you know what I, you know, like, okay. You know, and, and obviously it was a shot at me because I sneezed in class. And then, like, two days after I went, I asked for my test. And he rushed out the classroom. Like, he rushed out the door and didn't want to talk to me. And then the Friday night, I walk up to his desk. He motions his hand like so, and he's like, stop right there. So then I'm like, what do you mean? And then he's like, listen, I got family, I got a son, I'm not trying to, you know, die. And he really went off and I was just like, dude, I really just want my test grade. And it was like a confrontation because he didn't give it to me, he didn't even want to, I don't know what you can call that, it was ridiculous. Long story short, he gave me my score, but I've never seen the test, so... Yeah, that's my competition story. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, so the next one is a time you embarrass yourself playing sports. <laughs> <laughs> embarrass myself playing sports. I don't play sports. <laughs> I don't play sports, but I was a cheerleader. I think that counts. Yeah. Did I embarrass myself? No. I just cheered for my own house. If you are my own house, just comment down below. We didn't win, but still. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was my own house too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so the next one is a story about how you got your pet. Oh, I have like lots of stories about how they died. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how I got one. How did I get one? What was Sasha from? Sasha was from off? Oh yeah? So you adopted a, yeah. a rescue dog, that's sweet. I did. Sasha. But I named her Sasha because I... Sasha Fierce? <laughs> no way! You named it after Fierce? <laughs> no! I still was obsessed with Fierce. I really was. I had all her posters all over my room. You remember that? Yes, I do. Dion, everything. It was by your door, by the wall. <laughs> Everywhere you look, you basically sleep next to Beyonce. Beyonce! It's Beyonce. <laughs> that day, everything went wrong. What's the first thing that comes to mind? So Louise and I, we usually get pizzas for lunch. And my car. Oh my god! <laughs> my car. <laughs> it overheat, right? It, it, it stopped on the road. Her name is Betsy. Let's put some respect on her name, okay? Yeah. Her name. Betsy. Betsy got really, really hot. She couldn't take no more. She couldn't take it no more. We had to pull her up on the side of the road. She was overheating. But you know, Angela's so friendly. That's why I wrote my 264. Somebody came over and tried to help us. But we had to put her down. Betsy went through a lot that day. <laughs> we were like late for class. We sat down yeah. in a car, still ate pizza. Yeah. This guy was like operating on a car. We like sit down eating pizza. Oh, I was working. <sighs> that was incredible. It was so funny. Okay, Cass. So the next one is your worst job ever. Oh my god. My worst job ever. I know you don't even have to think about this one. I know. I really don't. This was at a restaurant not too far from my house. And it was just incredibly awful. The people were not local. And so it was very difficult for me because they weren't friendly and green people. You know, they weren't native at all. It was so awful because they would actually do bizarre things. Like I was a waitress. However, my job description was far from. They told me how to wear my hair. 
like not like a big afro like this the lady she wanted me to have it like jericho like wet like and super curly and defined or like when i slick it back she liked it when i looked very curly and wavy like a wavy texture i remember one day it was so bad it was valentine's day and i got a comment during lunchtime i was a college student so i was like okay i don't have any class it's fine i had plans in the night i didn't have plans at lunchtime so it was great so I went and the chef, he asked me to go in the garden and pick some basil. Now, I was very sheltered growing up, so I don't know a lot about cooking and stuff. I know I like the taste of hog, but I don't know what it looks like. So here am I in the garden and I'm on my knees smelling things. Smelling to try to figure out which one is the basil. I figured it out and I picked one like piece. Right? I go inside, I hand it to him, here's the basil. He looks at me, he takes it, he inspects it, and he says, go outside to his wife, who's like another owner of the restaurant, and give this to her for Valentine's Day, because you must be stupid, you must be crazy, why do you go to school if you're gonna pick one piece of it? But he didn't specify how much. There wasn't a lot there to begin with, and it was crazy, that was just one experience. I can, at least, I can count how many times I cried. You know, at that restaurant. It was awful. awful. Okay, so the next one is the most uncomfortable taxi slash Uber experience. Oh my god, okay. Okay, I was supposed to go to have dinner with one of my friends at a restaurant. On the way there, this driver, he picks me up, right? And he noticed where I'm living and he was like, oh, oh my god, I used to live here when I went to like university. And I was like, oh wow, I go to like university too. So I was like, okay, it's cool. But then I don't want to do the small talk. I just want you to drive me and then we can be done. He was like, so where you're from? I heard a little accent. I said, Angola, where's that? You know, the whole drill. And then he's like, so you're going to a restaurant I see and you have a hot day and he tries to flood with me and he asked me for my digits. It was so uncomfortable. I was like, <laughs> yeah, no. And it was weird. And then he was like, you know, that date, again, it wasn't a date. But he kept going with the idea. He's like, if that day doesn't work out, I'll just be waiting out here for you, okay? And it was so weird. The only thing I liked about it is that he actually came out and opened my door. At least he got brownie points with that. But that was a weird experience. <laughs> okay, this one's strange. I don't know if you're gonna have one, but wrong diagnosis at doctor. I don't know if I had a wrong diagnosis, but I did have a very, very, very strange interaction with the doctor at Lincoln University. Oh my god. So what happened was I have like this really bad shoulder pain. I think it's like stress or something. I don't know. From the job? <laughs> From the job. From that job. So like I went to my health services on campus I made an appointment with the doctor and he only comes in like twice a week. So I was really excited about my appointment and very optimistic about it. I met the doctor and I told him the situation was like you know sometimes I can't really sleep. It's really like uh he stops, moment of silence, then he goes over to his cupboard and takes a paper out and sits in front of me and before handing the paper to me, he said to me, whatever you're going through, you will get through this. I don't want you to have any dark thoughts. I don't want you to feel any way. There are people upstairs and counseling services that can assist you. I'm confused. I'm sitting there confused. There's a nurse there, and then there's a nurse trainee also there, and then there's him. So we're all in this little little room, and everybody's looking at me. And usually I like to be a center of attention, but in that moment, I was like, you know, thanks. And so he gives me this paper, and he's like, I would really like for you to read this very strongly. And I look at it, and it's like an affirmation paper of saying, I love living. I don't know. <laughs> they thought he was suicidal? He thought I was suicidal! I mean, I am dramatic, but God! Wow. I needed help, not counseling. Wow. Not somebody to watch me. Anyway, that was crazy. He thought I was suicidal. But hey, I guess I love living. <laughs> okay, the next one is being stuck at an airport. Oh, God. Oh my god. <laughs> I have a lot of these stories, but the most recent one 
I have an Angola chip in my phone. And when I go back to the US, I have a US chip. I didn't put my US SIM card in my phone on the plane. I just slept the whole flight. When I got to the airport, I had to do it. And it was crazy because I was doing a lot of calls from back home, letting everybody know that I arrived safely on my Angola SIM card using Wi-Fi. So then now I'm trying to, you know, change and I have an iPhone, so I need something pointy. So I took the back of my earring to try to get it in my phone and I couldn't get it in the phone. And I was stranded there because I need to change chips. I need to change from the Angola SIM card to the American SIM card so that I can use my phone to call an Uber or to call somebody, a friend, anybody, right? No, I think I was calling a friend. And so to call my friend, I needed to change SIM cards. So in order for me to do that, I tried to do it. My earring actually bent in the port. So I couldn't change SIM cards, which was crazy for me. So I was trying to get somebody to help me, but I was very skeptical of who I asked to help me. But then I asked this lady, in the middle of her trying to do that, my phone battery was like dying, which was crazy because I had no way to charge it on the flight. So now I'm like, oh my god, you know what? I'm just gonna have to borrow your phone, the lady's phone. So I try to borrow her phone and use the, the phone numbers, like look at my phone for a phone number because I couldn't get my American chip to walk. In the middle of like looking through local numbers in, in the US, my phone died. So then I had to go around looking for a charger in a busy Philadelphia airport. It was insane. It was insane. I don't know how I got home but it happened, it was cold outside, it was busy, it was dreadful, it was dreadful. And the next one is, was here appointment? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, okay. So, I was going to Canada and I wanted like a protective style because you know, you must protect your hair, right? Natural hair, you must. So I, I wanted a protective style, but I thought that these braids were trending where you have these like braids that come down on the side, like big jumbo braids, and it would be really, really cute. Apparently, the lady didn't get the memo, and she did give me jumbo braids, but they weren't like feed-in braids, you know, where it starts small, it starts at the root, and then it gets bigger. No, 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 no. She had it, like she tied the, the extension, the, the Canaclon hair, like she expression braids, whatever it was, she tied it like a knot and then braided. So it was like at least a half an inch above my scalp, big, the beginnings of the braids, big chunks. Oh my god, I'm gonna insert a picture right here for you to see, but it was crazy. It was crazy, it looked really bad. Yeah, I just can't believe that she thought that it was okay. So I've reached the end of the list. Okay. Well, I guess that was all of my story times from that list. Thank you for watching as per usual, as always. Hit the subscribe button. You know what to do. What to do, baby. Blue face. Comment down below if you want me to do a story time video that I haven't done, or if you'd like me to elaborate on one of the stories that I said. I have today. one. Oh yeah, tell me. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about Betsy. Uh, what was it? The worst day ever? Yeah. We about Betsy. We did. I think you should tell them <laughs> how you got Betsy. Oh my. Comment down below if you'd like to know the lifeline story of my wonderful Betsy. My soft top convertible car that literally caught on fire. Caught on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, she's quite a character. Let me know down below if you want to see that. And also, thank you guys so much for watching. As per usual, thank you guys so much for joining my team, Curly Dimples. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on your bell notifications. Stay tuned with me and I stay tuned with you. Bye. Okay, I think I'll go and explain what website is. Mm -hmm. I gotta get the Hi guys! Welcome back to another oh we've got the Take two! Take two! Go, go, go. Wait, I didn't think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to god. Okay, go ahead and
I don't know when we ended up. It just beeped. You hear it? Yeah. Why? The ID show. Go see. How's the Yeah. Oh my god. Oh wait, now I wanna see if I'm you. No. And no, Lou, no, thanks no. for No we good. No we good. And a big thanks to my cousin <laughs> for reading all those stuff for me. <laughs> like and subscribe guys. This is not a joke. <laughs> Not a joke. This is not a joke, guys. This is serious. SXM. Serious. You know the radio station called Serious SXM? Serious. It goes like that. Jesus. No, it's called Serious. <laughs> yes, like and subscribe. <laughs>